Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a one month check-in with the 2021 Advent Calendar Project Pan. This project was created by Elaine. I will have her channel linked down below along with everybody that as far as I know is still doing this project. I've been trying to keep up with who's in this project and who's not in this project. So if you've caught an error in my description box, let me know and I will fix it. Elaine created a project pan based around an advent calendar, which is such a great idea. I love it. 24 items, all small or sample size, and you could use an old advent calendar to pull one of the products randomly. I don't have an old advent calendar, so I just made a list of the products I wanted to work on in this project. And I'm using an app called Tiny Decisions, which is one of those spinning wheel apps to help me decide what order the products get worked on. This is the second year for this project and as of last month, I had three products that carried over from last year's project pan. So I am technically starting out with 27 products, but I am confident I will get through most of them this year, if not all of them, hopefully. I had an interesting comment in last month's update suggesting that regardless of how many products I finish, I should just pull in two new products every month. And I really like that idea. So I think I'm actually going to do that. So I might be working on a bunch of products at a time, but every month, regardless of how many I finish, I will be working on two new products at a time. So let me show you what I've been up to this past month. As of last month, I was still working on this sample of nail polish. It's, I don't know if it's a sample, but it's like a deluxe size nail polish from Julep in the shade Kiana, Kiara, Kiana. And it's the nail polish I have on right now. This was a carryover item from last year's Project Pan. I am down to here now. I don't know. I think you can see it, that like line going right across there. That's where I'm at, so I'm almost done. I'm guessing I have one more pedicure and one more manicure left in here. I have been pairing this nail polish with my Kale Polish in Gumption, which is just a beautiful matte dark blue. And it's at about the halfway point as well, maybe a little bit more than halfway. And I am getting really tempted to dump the contents of this bottle into this bottle and just be done with it. I do like to do that. I like to mix bottles and I don't have a problem with this. Although I love the way Gumption looks all by itself without anything added in, just a nice matte blue. I am tempted to just dump it in and call it a day. So I'm going to try and do one more manicure and one more pedicure before I do that. But either way, this should be rolling out of the project by next month's update, hopefully. Another item that I had in the project at last month, which was a rollover from the previous project, is the sample of Firebird from Urban Decay. I rolled this in really late in the project last year, and so I didn't get a ton of use on it last year, and I don't have a ton of use on it for this month. I don't know if I've worn it even once, if I'm being honest. I don't think so. So I need to get going on this guy, and you'll know why in a minute. The third item that I was working on at last month's update is the sample lip gloss from Mary Kay in the shade Brownie, and I did finally finish this. I actually finished it several weeks ago. It is gone. It was a really nice lip gloss, but I don't need a brown lip gloss. It was okay, but I'm not planning to repurchase this at all, and I'm really glad to have the sample gone because I've had this for a long time. Once I finished the sample of Brownie, I spun the wheel and pulled a new number from my list and the number I rolled was number 12 and that is this Tarte foundation sample which I have also finished. It is gone. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Light Medium Sand. This actually was a really nice foundation. Um, it was a good color match for me and I enjoyed it but I'm not in the market for a new foundation at this time. and. We'll see. I don't think this was better than some of my other foundations that I really enjoy and love, but this was good. It wasn't a chore to use up at all. So I rolled again, and this time I rolled number four, which was this small sample of lotion from a 
from a hotel and um, I finished this off as well so this is gone too it's empty I used it all up so I rolled one more time and this time I rolled number 14 which is another Urban Decay lipstick sample Ugh, this is not good this is the shade stark naked from Urban Decay so now I have two lipstick samples in the project and each one of these can take me about a month to finish off so I'm gonna have to buckle down I'm gonna have to buckle down I'm gonna have to focus in on these two because I don't want these lingering all year long in this project so currently these are the three items that I'm working on and I have three empties so far this year but since we are going into February, I decided to roll in another product for the month of February to work on. And guess what I rolled? Another lipstick sample. This is number 19. This is a Mary Kay lipstick sample in the shade Plum. My one saving grace is that this is a much smaller sample than the two Urban Decay samples. So it should be fairly easy to get through this. This one is usually only like five applications versus these I could just like I get like 20 applications out of so I shouldn't have any problem getting through this in the next month and I should also be able to finish this one in the next month and we'll just have to see about these two I'm gonna have to buckle down they're both nice colors I like them nothing wrong with a beautiful hot pink nothing wrong with a nice nude I just haven't been wearing a whole lot of lipstick lately so I'm gonna have to make sure I use these two so three lipstick samples and a nail polish sample is what I'm currently working with for the next month I'm excited to work on all of these and if I should use up two of these samples since I currently have four that I'm working on if I should use up two of these samples before next month's update I will roll again for another item so that I'm still always working on three so that's where we're at with this project still loving it still having a ton of fun really excited to get some of these more difficult products early on in the year to hopefully get them out of the way so that i have some easier products down the road i feel like i mean we'll see what i think is easy might not always actually be easy and what i think is hard sometimes isn't that hard so we'll see what happens but i'm i'm ready to work on these products and use them up and move them out of my stash don't forget to check the list down below in my description box of everybody that's doing this project and especially Elaine, the creator of this project. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.